Sam says to himself, I'll carry Frodo up myself if it breaks my back and my heart. <sighs> oh. no. Such a such a heroic little guy. Exactly. And then finally Sam goes, now for it, now for the last gasp, said Sam as he struggled to his feet. He bent over Frodo, rousing him gently. Frodo groaned and then fell back upon his knees again. He, well, this is moving. This is moving stuff. Okay. He raised his eyes with difficulty to the dark slopes of Mount Doom, towering above him, and then pitifully he began to crawl forward on his hands. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. And then Sam looks at him, and he wept in his heart. But no tears came to his dry and stinging eyes. I said I'd carry him if it broke my back, he muttered, and I will. Come, Mr. Frodo, he cried. I can't carry it for, but I can carry you and do it as well. So up you get. Come on, Mr. Frodo, dear. Sam will give you a ride. Tell him where to go and he'll go. And as Frodo clung upon his back, Arms loosely about his neck, legs clasped under his arm. Sam staggered to his feet, and then to his amazement, he felt the burden light. And that's to the carrying of the cross. Okay. Uh, uh, all right, I'm going to get a tissue. Um, Stig, say something. Well, they did justice to this in the movie. They stuck close to the source material. And Sam starts carrying Frodo and all that. I completely agree. You took the words right out of my mouth. They really did do this scene justice. Absolutely. I was blowing my nose. All right. Then Sam lifted Frodo with no more difficulty than if he were carrying a hobbit child. He took a deep breath and started off. Frodo did not speak. And so Sam struggled on as best he could, having no guidance but the will to climb as high as might be before his strength gave out and his will broke. Up he toiled, up, up, turning this way and that to lessen the slope. And then Frodo goes, thank you, Sam. Yeah. If we wanted to take like a passage of the whole work, you see, that to me is probably one of the most moving. It just is magnificent. 